How's it going, boys? So today we're playing the Land of Lands deck. Oh yes. So this deck I never talked about, but I wanted to make this for at least three months now or something like that. This is a deck that's based around the concept of lands and making those lands pretty much as unstoppable as possible. So we have four Gilded Goose, four Incubation Druids, four Paradisio Druids, one Looming Shaman, four Vivian Arcbow Rangers, four Vitugazi. Four Nisses, four Returns, uh, returns of the Wild Speaker, uh, four Planar Cleansings, and four vil uh, Planes Wide Celebrations. <clears throat> okay, so this is essentially the deck. So, this is what happens you can play Vitu Gazi and you can draw nine cards with this, or you can play a Looming Shaman and draw three cards. If you have Vivian Argbo, you can draw five cards. Essentially, the turn of the vil uh, Wild Speaker is pretty goddamn overpowered in a lot of situations. And considering you have ramp and whatnot, it's not exactly bad, even remotely. So, we're just gonna go ahead and play it, swap the deck around, and, you know, just press the play button and see what happens. You know what should happen while I'm waiting for an opponent to face and murder? You should probably hit that like button because I heard she likes that. So, a Gideon avatar. Interesting. And this is pretty much the most horrific start ever known to humanity possible, but that's just life. Uh, this is a tremendous amount better. Okay, we're keeping this and we're ditching one forest. Now, you may ask, you may ask why are you ditching one forest? That would be a little uh, uh, Nessa on curve. That's why, because I know that we're gonna draw probably one more land if it, uh, with opening like this. Remember, boys, if you don't want 300 quadrillion lands at your starting hand, you mulligan when you start with four lands. It's pretty much a given in this game by now. Okay, sadly, we, uh, Nessa is gonna have... Ooh, 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 we lose. Wait a minute. This is actually not a bad exchange. Because, you know, he kind of loses a lot more out uh, out that way. Plus, it's not like we're actually missing the, uh, the Nissa drop. So, there you have it. Okay. So, this is the plan. Also, we have the, the best combo that we can probably have. We have Nissa and her MacGuffins. Those not, aren't actually MacGuffins. They're more like safety pillows. Ah, whatever. But she has them. And we have Planes Wide Celebration. Oh, Jesus. We're gonna lose against this guy, possibly, if he gets a too good of a start. But here's hoping that, you know, we don't, essentially. That we just flat out don't. Okay, so we do it like this. And we just attack, because, well, Vigilance is a thing. Okay, so now, if everything go goes extremely according to plan, we will be able to play Planes Wide Celebration. Okay, uh, it seems like Planes Wide Celebration is a uh, happening. So, we just press this button, and now we proliferate one, two, three, four times. And since proliferation just happened a bunch of times, well, suddenly everything gets a lot of amazing, because we can do this. And suddenly, we can't, we don't pretty much have, well, you have actually seen this combo. We have done a lot of decks that are pretty much designed around the uh, pure concept that we can do this. <clears throat> but that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna drop also this thing. And now I'm gonna attack with this thing, because what exactly enemy Kun is gonna do exactly? I don't know exactly. Hopefully not a lot. Okay, so now all the lands are protected, and pretty much everything we play is a land, including with Tugazi and everything. Previously, I had the guys who create, uh, who cost six, and created, uh, five, five lands when you play them, but no longer do I do so. Because that's just life. Okay, a golden goose. Not exactly actually bad. Oh, that was though bad, but hey. You know, that, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. This guy can't exactly do anything now, because the point is... I have some healing factor now, because, well, multitude of reasons. I don't need exactly a Paradisio Druid, and... You know, even if he blocks, he doesn't exactly achieve anything. And now... 
If we're lucky, we hit the top deck with the card that draws us thingamajigs, and we essentially just can do whatever we want. Didn't happen, but that's absolutely fine. I'm actually gonna show you what card I was speaking about earlier. I, I used to have two copies, and yes, the rank just reset. Which is actually sad, because you know what I do? While I do not completely care about what we are, I do care that Platinum does give you two of these. I thought the ranked, uh, that previous ranked season is gonna continue on for like a week or something. So I thought I have, you know, I'm just gonna get Platinum in the last day or something real quick. But no, turns out it ended today. So we only got one of these rewards, which matter. But yeah, so good stuff. Good stuff indeed. We missed out on one cosmetic card, but that's fine. <clears throat> anyway, the thing I'm talking about is creatures, and I don't remember how much cost. I think it was a 5 cost or 6 cost, this thing. So you see, it's a 5-5, five, five. and for 5 you can create a land into an elemental creature that's still land. I previously had two of those, but then I decided, well, whatever, essentially, whatever. Not really too much we can replace it though. If we want, well, this is how it previously fit in, but... You know, it's 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 not exactly that necessary. If you want, just do it, but personally, eh, whatever. And also, we're using Planar Cleansing because, well, the lands don't get touched. So, there you have it. Again, so that was one of the best ways the combo can work because essentially ramping into a Nissa ult is like the tried and true method of absolute champions. And, you know, there's, well, that, that, that's nothing to be ashamed about. Uh, this is not useful in the slightest. Yeah. So, Looming Shaman's pretty decent, but again, we're not gonna do too much with Looming Shaman without any way of casting our draw thingamajiggy. So, yeah. A little bit sad and bad, but, you know, life is in general kind of just sad and extremely bad at the same time. Okay, but that's enough about me. Okay, also, anyone wanna hear? Yes! This is exactly what we wanted. So, the thing is, this is an instant also, if anyone has not noticed yet. So you can essentially just do nothing, wait for it, cast this at the end of the turn, and instantaneously do that. Oh, it's an aggro deck we probably lose. Oh, it's been a while since I saw someone so degenerate that he actually uses this piece of shit type of deck. Ah, I guess that's life. Oh, a spear chugger. That's also cute. Are you just gonna now also cast to light up the stage? Well, you didn't. At least you're not a full-blown degenerate. You're only, well, pretending to be one, I guess. Oh, wait, no. My incubation druid is dead. Yep, now I take it back. You're, you're just a degenerate. That's fine. The world needs the... Oh, wait, the world doesn't need degenerates. It already is full of them. Oh, well, that's just life. Well, anyway, if he doesn't kill this, we can just fit to Gazi like there's no tomorrow. So that's good. But again, I'm not sure if he's gonna kill it, if he's not gonna kill it. Okay, fuck you, enemy kun. Hey, at least he didn't drop light up, the, not light up the stage, but whatever the hell that card is called, at extremely perfect curves. So there we have it. Again, we're, we, it looks like we're pretty dead, because honestly... Ah, uh, honestly, boys, does it th does this look like we're gonna live? No, it does not. Also, Vitugazi is gonna come into the game. Not exactly too sexy, but I wanna do it just one time. We still lose, so, you know, there's absolutely nothing that can be done about this. Then Street Dodger doing dodgy things. Oh, call me fucking surprised, boys. Anyway... Let him attack, and absolutely nothing happens. It's a bit Ugazi. Okay, so this does not exactly, by the way, give us a chance to win. Because I told you, nothing happens. Well, something something haste. It does come... Okay, we actually have something something that can actually do something. Well, this is an, ex uh, uh, well, an extraordinary amount of blockers, to be honest. So... Not exactly bad. Okay, how are we gonna do anything here? Well, we don't. That's the that's the secret. 
Okay, so we have a way to generate perpetual life gain, which is absolutely amazing, and we have a way to slowly kill these, and it's a Chandra Spitfire. Obviously, Chandra needed to be a roasty. God damn it. Oh, wait, and he has this thing, which means he's gonna buff the Chandra Spitfire. Great stuff, great stuff, lads, great stuff. Wait, he's doing that? Why? Why would you do that? Well, that's fine. Time to use the food token because reasons. Okay, at least we got a little bit of HP. We're not gonna attack with this, obviously, because that's just suicidal. But we're gonna definitely do this because, well, you know. Ah, good stuff. Also, non-human creatures get 3-3 three, three is pretty goddamn sweet. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So, how? what's the best way to play this? Probably dropping a geese. It's gonna create food. And if we get enough of that food, we have a potential chance of surviving. Potential chance. Potential chance. This is the moment where he understands that damn spit- oh, Also, we did not draw the thing that we actually wanted to draw. There's a bunch of things that we- Well, we do have planes-wide celebration, but this, which is definitely a thing. <coughs> But you see, the problem is extremely simple. One may even call it dumbly simple. Okay. Oh, I need to get rid of that. That's such a huge dilemma. Honest to God, that is actually a dilemma. So the problem is we need to block. So we're blocking, right? No sense not to block. Okay, so how exactly are we doing anything? If we get this down, we can theoretically survive because geese, boys. Okay, that was only one damage taken. I need to kill this. That's like the big thing. Well, more geese is pretty good. Okay, so we're doing it like this and that. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. This is actually useful. Okay, so... Turn that into something I am not exactly proud of, but not exactly, you know, not proud of. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? Humbug. Well, I guess we're just attacking and seeing what happens. Ah, oh, he doesn't even do anything, huh? You're just gonna let that happen. Okay. So... I think that just happened. Okay, do we... I think we just do this. This should be fine, right? Absolutely 100% of the time, fine. Okay. So now enemy Kun is not really happy about what's happening because, well, reasons, essentially, at this point. We can still win because we have a bunch of HP generations. As long as Chandra's Spitfire does not become a complete menace. Also, we can still draw good things. Also, notice how many cards we drew just because Vitugazi exists. That's pretty cool. I'm honestly gonna do a, a pure mono green deck that does not have uh, Nissa and is creature based. And we're gonna utilize Vitugazi and Return of the Wild Speaker because, again, I think this card is pretty goddamn valuable. Valuable and malleable, as they say. Okay, so what are we gonna do now? I really want a Plains Wide Celebration. He's looking at my goose and geese. Which does make me a little bit fearful of life. Well, make me fearful of life. There is a chance again that we just draw something that actually creates combat damage, and it's absolutely, well, glorious, essentially. Pretty, pretty simple stuff, right? So he's gonna attack. That's a lot of damage. So, uh, we're gonna create a food token, because we can, essentially, at this mo uh, moment in time. And then we can play Invite Celebration to heal for 16, which is definitely on the extremely brighter side of things. The question is, that actually, do we actually do it? Technically, he can't kill a single one of our lands, and we're slowly starting to threaten things. So, there would be a point. There definitely would be a point. He can't kill us with spells because, well, again, reasons. Did we just attack? Oh, okay, he's going for my goose is cooked, boys. Okay, so sacrifice food it is. 
Okay, well, that's honestly kind of to be expected. He needs that bed. But he does not understand the simple thing that planes wide celebration, lads. Okay, so we're dropping this. And we're essentially saying, GG, I never liked you to begin with enemy con. Good game, you filthy bastard. This is why we have play not cleansing, boys. Because it cleanses everything. Even things it shouldn't. But it does. Yep, that's pretty much it. Yeah, pretty good stuff, not gonna lie. As you can see. Play not clean. This is why we have it. This is literally why we have it. So yeah. But as you can see also, these games are pretty good exam. Oh wait, did I promise a MILF update? I think I did. Anyway. You see why we don't have the six costing creature feature that, you know, uh, that creates lands? While it's not exactly bad, it's not exactly good because in all due honesty, we don't exactly have, uh, well, well, actually, no, we could put it in the sideboard if I think about it. Yes, this is also the first time in history we have created a sideboard with Vivian, Argbo, blah, blah, blah. I know, that's probably something no one ever expected us to see happen, but we did it, boys. We actually created a sideboard with Vivian Argbo. God damn it. Also, yeah, MILF update as promised. I'm not exactly sure what the fuck happened, because honestly, nothing fucking happened. Uh, but the tight gap MILF is for some reason mad at me. And I have absolutely not the slightest fucking clue. You know, one day I just woke up, bitch got a new job or something. Well, actually, she did, I know that. But, you know, essentially, a magic but magic, and, you know, that just happened. Also, now we can finally do the combo, which is called Make Paradise Druid a complete a wrecking house with Vivian Argbo-chan. So yeah, actually no, we're gonna do this because we want extra life, because well, here we have a planar cleansing, and why do you have ley lines of abundance? And yes, probably someone's gonna write in the comments, why aren't you using ley lines of abundance? That's because, well, ley lines of abundance is a completely heretical piece of existence. That, that's why. That is absolutely why we're doing that. Okay, so do it like this, because reasons. And now, just just make that incubation do it a little bit more, uh, well, essentially chatty. And we can drop this, because, well, we can't. Because now that's 3 mana or something. I'm not exactly good at math, so I only know how to count to 6 if anyone does not know. I miss you so deeply, mortal son. Oh, look at that! It's a Vivian, no one cares, but... Well, actually, it's a Nissa, no one cares. Okay, that's completely fine. Do I protect... Vivian? Oh. Oh, lordy lord! Actually, I think, wait, do we protect... No, we don't protect Vivian. Okay, that's absolutely fine. No one wanted to protect Vivian anyway. So, now we're gonna make this thing... How are we gonna do this, by the way? Well, we can say fuck bitches acquire money, or we can just do this. On this thing. Yes, we can make it a little bit more chad. So, essentially we now do this. And voila! Four cards. Exactly not, not a single card that I wanted. But that's honestly fine. Okay, so now we're gonna actually protect this Vivian with the Golden Goose, because reasons. Okay, and then we're gonna play in White Celebration, and we're gonna outpace enemy Kun in his own game. Or potential. well actually no, there's no potentially. Oh, we actually do have one more of those things. So there you have it. Okay, oh, uh, do I need to sack everything? I think I need to sack everything now. Or do we just want to draw an exorbitating amount of cards? Because this guy, boys, this guy's one sad person. You see, the fact is, maybe he does have Ley Lines of Abundance. Maybe Ley Lines of Abundance is abundantly, clearly abundant there. But, the thing is, 
Enemy Kun does not exactly have any normal shape, way, or form to do anything when I completely decimate his lands. So we can, you know, fuck around at least for now, unless he drops something really, 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 really something that I don't like. Uh, do I still want to deal with that, though? Oh, yeah, we're just actually fucking everything this guy holds dear to his heart. Absolute- wait, can- yes, we can, because- Oh, shit! That is not good, lads. That is 100% not in the good part. Okay, what the fuck do I do now? Um... Yeah. Well, now. I need only one white land on the bright side. <clears throat> okay, so. Uh, what's the plan? Wait, does- if he places counters on this stupid thing, does this stupid thing actually, like, get to do stuff to my goose? Because, you know, I have seen a lot of hentai in my time, and still am watching a lot of hentai. Actually, too much hentai, but that's beyond the point. So, if this guy just, you know, buffs the stupid Hydra, do I- does it get to, like, completely, absolutely rummage through my goose's insides? Also, that will not die if I use planeswide cleansing, but honestly, I am okay with that. Okay, so this person potentially is gonna win a game with absolutely nothing to his name, but like a land or some shit. Impressive. Impressive indeed. Not really. Screw you, enemy. Good. Okay. Yeah, that this is pretty much okay. Does so does the goose get now? The goose does not get okay. The hydra does not get to rummage through my goose's innards. Good, good. He's probably gonna aim something on Vivian Chan because he has no idea how pitiful Vivian Chan actually is. What the hell is that? Was that proliferate? Yes, that was proliferate. Wait, what? Oh, the goose still got absolutely butt fucked. Okay, so where did we go wrong? I have no clue, but I know that we're dead. <coughs> okay, that is severely unlucky. That someone just, you know, uh, gets two lands, plays a ley lines of a bot. Wait, no, there's no way he does that, right? Well, anyway, let's just move on. That could have been epic, but sadly he decided that the Paradisio Druid, not, the, no. We didn't have a Paradisio Druid, we had an incubation, uh, Bet nurse. So yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is definitely an instantaneous leanness into an instantaneous three draw. Opponent Kun goes first, and obviously opponent Kun needs to be a ginormous asshole about everything in life. So there we have it. <clears throat> Honestly, we're still gonna have to use the temple gardens in a fashion. Oh, the goose is dead. Wow. Man, I haven't seen red decks in forever. Is it just because this is silver or something? Is it just full of hello there? I really hate this card. It's absolutely... He just take my Vitugazi. Yes, he did. Thankfully, it gets put back where it belongs, but that does not make me feel one tad bit better. And also, having three returns of the wild speaker also makes me feel like the game is saying, Yeah, it's time you lose. And this is dead. Amazing! Oh, we still got the Vito Gazi. Okay, amazing! We can't do anything. Let's eat the food. Okay! <clears throat> I haven't even seen this. What the fuck is this? Oh, that's pretty good on... Well, that's actually really good. So it's a 3-2. Oh god, it's a 5-2 now. Well, we look... How is he getting Vitu Gazi constantly? I have no clue, but yeah, it's like... We lose, essentially, again, because the reasons... Extended reasons, boys. Extended. So extended, it's actually sickening. 
Seems like the guy actually doesn't have a lot. <clears throat> okay. Oh, he did not drop it to Gazi this time. Oh, look at that. Well, that was a wrap. Good stuff. It, it, it's really nice when, you know, the red deck outdraws you. That seems absolutely epic, you know? <clears throat> In lands. So, yeah. Well, I guess that's just magic for you. <clears throat> yeah, but... Yeah, it's still a little bit on the on the edge side about that prior to last game. It's a red deck, you know. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Most of the time you lose because red decks, boys. Red decks. Also, this is the most ugly, ugliest loading screen magic has that blue dragon thing hugging the castle. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is actually decent. <clears throat> Four mana looming shaman draw three cards with the return of the wild speaker. It's actually decent. And the ability to cleanse all the sins of all the universes altogether. Oh, look at that. I wonder how, 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 how screwed are, wait, is this the same guy? I doubt it's the two people in a row can choose, no, this is not the same guy. But it's a little bit mind-boggling, so to speak, because it's really hard for me to imagine that two people can equally choose the worst type of lands. <coughs> <coughs> God damn it, boys, that actually... That actually did damage to my innards. But this is fine. We're not gonna block with this. I honestly don't think he's even gonna attack. He just randomly attacks. What a mad lad. Okay. I'm assuming he also had a buff spell. Okay, Rhythm of the Wild. Uh, that's pretty cheeky. <clears throat> anyway, we can do this now. And that was pretty much as good as I anticipated. A.K.A. it was horrible. Okay, so here's the, here's the deal. We lose. Essentially, it looks like. I don't honestly see too many ways of winning unless we just, you know, uh, play not cleansing. And get a lot out. Yeah, that was pretty much what I expected to a degree. Yeah, because these decks do run a lot of this. Their creatures are a bit more buff and they deal with creatures really good. So, kind of, you know, self-explanatory stuff, I guess, but whatever. <clears throat> okay, we can adapt this, so that's actually amazing. Because we can draw three more cards with this when, we, when it gets adapted. That's gonna be pretty, pretty good. <coughs> okay, that's, <clears throat> that's a big ugly piece of, well, orc meat. Ugh. He's gonna attack with everything, that's pretty clear. Okay, he does attack with everything, that's pretty good. And now we adapt. And he did not expect the adaptation, boys. At least I hope he didn't. This will actually give us a pretty decent amount of turns to play still. <laughs> because we're gonna be able to cast play not cleansing if he does too many bad things. Ah, honestly, that's pretty pretty close to that. Too many bad things. Okay, but uh, the, uh, the bright side, well, we just have one more incubation druid there. Okay, so life is still full of hope and meaning and all of that good stuff, and we're gonna be able to adapt this thing and essentially, well, essentially just adapt that thing. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna eat our last food token, because, you know, there's no reason to block. But there is a reason to get a little bit of that sweet, sweet life back. Okay, and we can play Cotton's Bastion. And that guy just magic... Uh, okay. Well, he's out of cards on one hand, so this is definitely... Wait, what? Oh, he didn't have anything to use it with. Okay, makes sense somewhere along the lines. So what happens if we adapt him? Have we have no mana to use Cotton's Bastion? Pretty close, though. Pretty close. And we don't have enough mana. Oh, actually, we do have enough mana. Okay, so here's the deal. <coughs> well, we can still do it later on, so I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so here's the deal. He does this, no one cares, we draw a bunch of cards, we win. Essentially, pretty simple. I'm actually amazed that we have a chance against this deck, because honestly, 
So, target creature gets death. <coughs> if we buff it by... Well, we can't buff it by one, but that was pointless. Actually, we can buff it by three, but I'd much rather draw the cards. And again, this is so amazing for green to just flat out draw cards in, you know, spell form. Oh, we two gauzy boys! You thought your fucking little orc shit even mattered? No. Absolutely not. Well, admittedly, losing that much HP does matter, but, you know, that little orc never even mattered. Okay. <coughs> So we have the Vitugazi, we could cleanse potentially, but I want a Vitugazi first. Well, that's obviously gonna happen on his turn, let's see. Vitugazi, we can eat, we can create a food token, everything seems fine in the world. At least for now. Ah, <coughs> uh, what is this guy gonna do against Vitugazi? Probably honestly nothing. There is that buff by 4 card. <coughs> But honestly, is that gonna really happen? I kind of doubt it. Okay, he just does that. That's absolutely fine. Okay. <coughs> so, let's just watch enemy con suffer a little bit. And we're gonna tap the correct mana. We don't want to tap a single point of our greenish mana because reasons. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so, you know, I don't want it to come into the game tapped. That would be really, 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 really bad. Chances are he can't do anything to Vito Gazi for the rest of the game. God, it's such a good card. It's a 9-9 nine, nine with haste. Jesus Christ, is that... Well, okay, you buff it one time. What are you gonna do, buff it one more time? Well... Honestly, even if you do, what difference does it make? Okay, you see... Well, okay, so it's a 8-6. Even if you kill the Vitu Gazi, that thing dies. And we're top decking. And honestly, my top decks are way more impactful than yours. <coughs> well, that was kind of expected. But it's still dead. And now we can, well, in the worst case scenario, we can just do this. Eat well, food tokens to get our life supply back. Which is pretty fine. Oh, it looks like nothing's even happening. So, you know, create food token, why not? And eat food tokens. So we get a little bit of life back. And now we just need to wait until we draw something really useful. Not exactly that, though. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we can actually get back. Hmm, we can't get back anything. <clears throat> That's a problem. Well, I guess it's a problem with an easy solution. Okay. So, <clears throat> essentially, now we're top decking. I'm assuming he's just top decking buff spells, but we're creating food tokens. So, it's honestly good. Oh, I'm amazed that we have a chance of winning against this deck. Honestly, I thought that we're completely screwed, but he did not drop as many creatures as I thought he's gonna drop. So yeah, and if we get Planeswide Celebration off with, you know, the right... Uh, come on, game. I know you... I know you're trying to make amends here, but that's just ridiculous. <coughs> so, return a permanent uh, card from your graveyard means not spells, not instants. Those are not permanents for some reason. I know they look and feel like permanent things because they're so deeply engraved into our hearts, but they are not actually considered permanent. That's like the problem with plain wide celebration, but honestly it's still fine. Okay, so let's see, 18 HP, seems good. Okay, do we just now get back random MacGuffins, because why not? I think we just get back random MacGuffins. Return, 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 return. So we're gonna get all of this back because we can, and essentially we honestly don't have anything else to do with this man. And two plain white celebrations is a little bit overkill. <coughs> so, now we have an extreme ab abundancy of card advantage also. And we still have three plain art cleansings if we feel that something's gonna go uh, not exactly the way that we hoped. So... Yeah, enemy Kun is probably not being happy about life currently. But that's absolutely fine. 
Okay, so we have two golden geese. We can uh, we can ha we can upgrade an incubation druid into an uh, incubation grandma. Great stuff. He drops a land. More great stuff. And finally, the final nail nail in the coffin, boys. Oh, we finally did it. It took only forever, but honestly, I I'm okay even if it took only forever. So we're doing this. Let's see. And now we're attacking, right? Yeah, so let's just attack with this. Single digit attack. <coughs> okay. Uh, do we wanna... Hmm... Does it even matter how we play this? I think we're completely done. Okay, I'm just gonna adapt it. It doesn't matter. Honestly, good, good job, you know, not using the right thing, but that's absolutely fine. Okay, so now we're just gonna do this because I want to adapt a lot of things. <clears throat> okay, this is fine enough. I just want my plane, uh, I just want this to be a little bit a lot more impactful, <laughs> essentially. Okay, so, enemy con, what are you gonna- Ooh, scary! Scary! <laughs> so scary! Oh, absolutely threatening! Ah, this destruction! Oh! 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 I, I, man, I, I feel so scared! Currently, so, so many feelings of scaredness popping left, right, and center, lads. Oh, Jesus! How will I ever recover? Actually, we're gonna recover by this. Okay, so we drop this Vivian now. And... Actually, now we can do something cool. Okay, you see? We do this. Proliferate, proliferate, proliferate. Four times. Enemy Kun literally understands now that he is completely... Uh... Fucked beyond all recognition. And we can minus do this and get something from the, uh, something from the whatever graveyard, not graveyard, but sideboard. And now, <coughs> we can play this. Which makes so little sense, but now we can also do this. And create con, make con's bastions into a land. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so nonsensical. And now we just ulti. Honestly, it doesn't matter in which order we do it, but yeah. As you can see, yeah, things are happening. And I doubt enemy Kun is happy about a single thing that's happening. Admittedly, that's pretty that 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 that's pretty up there on the play chart, but uh does it even matter? The question is, does it even matter? Because I don't think it does. Okay. <laughs> ah boys. Boys. Is this not just the best thing? The only minus is it does not have, uh, what's it called? This thing. I don't remember what's it called. Vigilance. But, you know, that's not exactly a huge dilemma. <laughs> oh, yes! Look at this board, enemy Kun. What are you gonna do exactly up against this board? Probably nothing. Probably nothing. I would honestly, you know... I would honestly tell you to just suck it up, because what what's the solution? There is no solution. That's like the big thing. There is no solution. Again, still- Oh, and he surrenders. Yeah, he kind of understood what's going on. <coughs> yeah, this is why this is called the Ultimate Lands deck. Well, it's not going to be called the Ultimate Lands deck. <coughs> but it's pretty, <coughs> pretty good. Okay. Four packs. Let's open four packs. I feel pretty good about this. And gems. Good stuff. Let's see what else do we get. Maybe more gems. And more gems. Good stuff. So does this mean I have all the rare level cards in Road of Eldraine now completely gotten? Would not be bad. Oh, I think. Well, actually, let's check. I'm not sure how that even works. So, Throne of Eldrain, and it's rare. <clears throat> Let's see, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, Now I don't have 4 Taste of Death. Admittedly, I could. Ah, so, hmm. 
Man, our Throne of Eldraine collection is pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Oh, shit! What the hell is this? Oh, this is probably something you can't get in the packs. Oh, this is some pretty sweet stuff. Wow. Actually, we're missing quite a lot, but I know about everything except what is this? <coughs> Fearless Spark Mage. Who the fuck is Rowan? Hello? I have no idea who this Rowan fellow is. Let's find out. Oh, this is Rowan. Okay, makes perfect sense, honestly. <coughs> but yeah, anyway. So, this was Quizzer said 7 Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. And yeah, you can get rid of the Looming Shaman if you want, but I don't want to do that. So yeah, this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out the Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye bye.